Every season is very special in the garden. If someone asks me what's my favourite time, I always say today because I know I'm alive and there's always plenty to see. I love autumn. Although you seem to have that little bit more time, everything is constantly changing. Each plant having its own particular moment of glory. So you must make sure you don't miss it and get out into your garden every day. After one final flourish, the leaves will start to fall and blanket the lawns with a multicolored carpet. One last moment of glory before they're swept into piles by an autumn wind. Many shrubs, such as the dwarf spindle, hide unnoticed for most of the year. But in autumn, they throw off their inhibitions and put on their coat of brilliant scarlet, shouting, hey, look at me. In the new autumn winter bed, the nerines and capfire lilies enjoy the shorter days, while the autumn cyclamen continue to impress long after their flowers are faded. When the autumn rains refresh the dry earth, fungi in many forms appear as if by magic. They spread their spores in any slight breeze and then fade away almost as quickly as they came. The asters and croissant bask in the autumn sun, while at the same time the structure of the garden is becoming more apparent as the branches become bare. Although our fruit crop is not so abundant this year after the late frost we had in May, the birds are eager to feed on this natural harvest, anxious to build up their reserves for the long cold winter days ahead. There is peace within a garden, a peace so deep and calm that when the heart is troubled, it's like a soothing balm. There's life within a garden, a life that still goes on, filling the empty places when older plants have gone. There's glory in the garden at every time of year, spring, summer, autumn, winter, to fill the heart with cheer. So ever tend your garden, its beauty to increase, for in it you'll find solace, and in it you'll find peace.